Welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we are going to find the magnitude of a vector from component form. So we have a vector and the vector is 5, negative 2. And I want to find the magnitude. Well magnitude just means length. So I'm going to find the length of the vector connecting 5 to negative 2. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to actually plot it on my graph. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 2. And since it is in component form, that means the initial point is at the origin. And I can draw my vector. So I need to know the length or the magnitude of this vector. Well, what I've just created is a right triangle that's 5 and 2. Now, it is negative 2, but I'm just going to isolate the sides of the triangle for a moment and try to find this length. So 5 and we'll go ahead and put it in as negative 2 and we have a right angle here. So we can just use the Pythagorean theorem to find the magnitude. So I'm going to use a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So 5 quantity squared plus negative 2 quantity squared equals c squared. So that's 25 plus 4 is equal to c squared. 29 is c squared. And take the square root of both sides. So it ends up being the square root of 29. Now, the reason I don't take a negative, it is a length. Therefore, it must be positive. And that's how you find the magnitude of a vector from component form. You just find its length. Hope this video is helpful.